Hey guys, it's Anthony Bandier here, attorney and senior legal instructor for Blue to Go Law Enforcement Training, bringing you another roadside chat from the studio. Got an excellent question. I'm looking at my computer here from an officer in California. Okay, so the officer basically is asking, can police go into a neighbor's backyard during a SWAT operation? Excellent question. So let me just kind of give you a little feedback about the scenario here. So during a SWAT operation, let's say a search warrant, SWAT operators are attempting to establish containment next to the house, right? To the, to the residence, the target. Now they ask permission to go into somebody's backyard, but they are denied. Can the officers still enter the neighbor's backyard for containment purposes only, or would this be a violation of the Fourth Amendment? Excellent question. And here's your answer. Do you have agency? Right? Do you have agency? Agency, agency gets you into people's backyards. Now, I need to know more facts, right? I need to know more facts. Why do you believe that, that there's no time to go get judicial pre-approval to be in these neighbors' backyard? By the time you get that approval or whatever, something bad could happen. I need to know why. I, you know, now, first of all, we're pretty close there logically because this cop is telling me that they got SWAT deployed you know, on this house, right? Uh, in 2021, we're not dusting off SWAT unless it's pretty serious is, is, is my impression out there because of the, the liability uh, that comes with SWAT operations. So we're getting our, our operators out and we're gearing up. It's, it's for a serious uh, situation, right? People have guns um, and so forth. They could be, uh, you know, a menace and so forth. So I, I want to know that though. So I guess that goes along with what the, um, what the operation is about. Um, if this is a, uh, I mean, Wabi does not swat for uh, a, a child porn investigation. I don't know. You're going to have to sell me on it, but you get my point. So the answer is, look, do you have agency? Do you have some kind of public safety issue that if you are not in that backyard, this guy could escape and hurt other people, right? Um, is, this, is, this, is this neighbor's house the only yard that you could have, put, is, is the only yard that you could actually potentially have uh, a contain, like contain this person? There's no alley. There's, um, there's a huge retaining wall uh, on the other side. In other words, this neighbor, like it or not, has the, the best place for us to, to be in case this guy comes out. Um, so stuff like that will help. But as a matter, if, if we go into that backyard and we go to court and we get sued, now these, these neighbors are already denying entry. So you know it's gonna happen. If the cops go back there anyway, they're likely to get sued, right? They're already kind of giving you a, a heads up, like, look, you know, we're not on your side on this one. You can't go in our backyard. So expect a lawsuit. And, if, and, if, and especially because the cops have a, you know, a little heads up on this, you better feel damn good about what you're doing because you want to be defensible. You don't want to be, you know, on the fence here and be like, yeah, you know, could have went either way. I decided just to do it anyway. Look, uh, nobody wants to be in a lawsuit and lose. Now, I, you can't stop people from suing you, but losing costs a lot of money, right? Fighting them costs a lot of money. So that's my advice. My other advice to you, by the way, is push up the chain, right? Unless you have something pressing right now and there's people lives in danger and so forth. But if you're, you know, if you've got a few seconds, um, I would like to have a lieutenant or something, uh, you know, hopefully if you have somebody on scene, a lieutenant, a sergeant will work too, but I would like to push up the chain to the command level because uh, I like to get their buy-in. Because the last thing that I want personally is if, if, I, if I'm the sergeant, I'm gonna push my way back into the, um, the backyard and then my own brass doesn't have my back. Does that make sense? Is this helping? There you go, guys. So if you have agency, you win. If you don't have agency, you lose. Okay, that's all I got for you. You want me to keep doing these? These help? Then of course, let me ask you my three things, right? Hit like or comment. That tells YouTube I'm doing a good job. Hit subscribe, share with your friends. Share with your friends. Until next time, my friends, stay safe.
When it comes to law enforcement training, we are the gold standard. Visit bluetogold.com or call 888-579-7796 to learn more about our training, books, and free webinars. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel.